Hi everyone, this is Saisa. I'm coming to show you some projects I've been working on. Um, I've been making some boxes for Thanksgiving. I'm actually having all my family come to visit this um, Thanksgiving. So I made boxes for everyone. And um, these are the, the favorites I made for them. I used the uh, Michael's Dollar Box, which is actually a dollar fifty now. And um, I just bought them using a coupon, like one of the sales they had. So um, the papers I use are DCWV. I think it's called, um, I don't know, it's Fall Splendor or it's this fall, this season's fall paper. Um, I actually don't have the name because I share it with my sister and she actually took the cover. I use tin coffee paper and I also use, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was last year's Target paper. And then I use some, this is some, oh, sorry. Some Prima paper I bought at Tuesday morning. I paid $8.99 for this and it's called The Second Wind. And um, these are the papers that are on this. So they, they remind me of fall. They're very um, kind of grungy fall looking. Really pretty paper. So it was $8.99 so I used that. That's this one. And um, I made the turkeys. I used this die that I got at scrapbuck.com for two dollars. He's so cute. Um, so I cut him out of, um, you can see this one better, cut him out of cardstock. These are beads, which <laughs> someone told me they're like M&M's. But I got these at Michael's on one of those picks on clearance. The flowers are from Michael's, they're the Ashland. I got the bling at the dollar store, which I love these fall flowers. I wish I could get more. Um, the foot are little, what do they call these, dew drops? And this is a die I have as a quick cut um, leaf die. So I stamped it. I put made with love and the date. And um, I mod podge the paper. And then um, I actually cut the, the bands it came with. And then I didn't have any elastic to match. So I just bought this elastic, which is kind of thin, but learned my lesson. I stamped it saying Happy Thanksgiving. And more of these leaves I have on the side. I got those at Michael's. And then I just put the matching paper inside. So here's the stamp. I actually got this at Joann's. It says Happy Thanksgiving, but it's actually the Studio 112. Um, so they're pretty much all the same style, just a different paper. And um, again, they all have Happy Thanksgiving. I stickled it with gold. I stickled the turkey with, um, I think it's orange stickles. So they all, like I said, they all pretty much look the same. I think I did a couple of them with... Um, a brown dye, a brown ink, but of course I can't. None of ones I'm picking out. So here goes the brown one. And they all, like I said, they all much, pretty much look the same inside. The paint I used, this one was uh, a bronzy paint, and um, this one was like a brown paint. It looks more like a pumpkin orange. So those are my boxes. So. Again, they all have a little different paper, but they're pretty much the same design. And I guess the flowers again are from Michael's. Are those um, what do you call that? Those nylon flowers. So I try to keep it simple. Now I'm trying to figure out what to put in them. I might just end up putting chocolates. I, I'm not sure. Um, I was looking at today on eBay, maybe um, some kind of keychain. So I'm trying to see what I can do. And um, another project I'm doing for my family is, I don't know, it came to me. I don't know if you guys, hi dream of scrapbooking. It came to me in a dream. I'm like, wouldn't it be cool we all have aprons? So I found these at Joann's. They call Aunt Martha's. And they said decorate, embroider, ballpoint pen, hot iron, transfer, screen print, and more. So they're pretty cool. They feel really nice. So I actually got eight of these that I'm going to decorate. I was thinking of putting some ribbon on top, some ribbon that I got from Scrapbook, a brown like pleated ribbon, and I don't know, maybe stamp it. I got this cool stamp at um, Joanne's. He says, um, eat ham. Isn't he cute? So I might put him in the middle of the apron, and then, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like the flowers I should put, or if, if I should stamp it with leaves. I do have, um, I started making this flower. I made it with felt and I used some burlap, but I think I have to mash polish the burlap because it's like falling apart. It's kind of chunky. I don't know. 
I wish, you know, I can get ideas if anyone has any suggestions. I was thinking of putting like a bling or bread in the middle. And then I'm going to put one of those pins. So this way they can unpin it when they can, they have to watch the apron. And um, so, again, I, I was thinking of getting, um, going to Joanne's and getting some full fabrics. And uh, I'm trying to use what I have because, you know, there's no room. I have no room. So I'm really, if I can use what I have would be so much better. So I have all this felt and I do have this burlap. So I don't know if anyone can give me any ideas or what they think. It's kind of chunky, but I want it so when you pin it on the apron, it looks, you know, you can see it. And I only have to make actually five of these. No, six of them. Because two of them are guys. So you don't want to give a flower to a guy. So I only have to make six flowers. It's not too bad. So this is what I've come up with so far. I don't know. I'm playing with it. And another thing I did a couple of weeks ago, I, I did a crop here <laughs> with my sister. We just um, decided to make some cards. So here's some cards I made. Actually, what we did is we took a couple of magazines and we just challenged ourselves to make cards. So here's one that I did. Um, I thought this one came out pretty cute. I need to put some bling or flower, but I guess I'm kind of waiting. So when I decide to use it, then I um, would decorate it more. So it'd be easier to store. We, I did this one. So this I just use a lot of my Spellbinders Hero Art stamp. This is a Dorley. This is a DCW paper that Michael has too. I think it's called um, Market something. Again, it was her paper, you know, so I just used it. Um, this is, again, using paper that I had. This is, so I got this paper like when I first started scrapbooking. So I did that Prima Flower, cut the circles. I use a lot of my, um, spell binders and I made this one this is my favorite again I use that um I can't think of what it's called the dye that cuts the leaves and I thought that was so cute and um so I just decided I make you know I kind of want to have like I see people have tons of these cards and when something comes up they can just go in their stash and get a card I kind of want to do that but of we were scrapping all night and I think we made well, here I have five. I think we made six or seven cars. So that was pretty slow. But um, that's all I have to share. Um, if anyone wants to give me any suggestions on my flowers, any comments on my apron, I would love it because, um, I don't know, it kind of looks nice. It kind of looks hurt. <laughs> I know it's not finished, but again, I'm, I know I can go and, and get better material. And But really, I, I'm trying to use what I got. So, and also I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if I should put, um, what should I, I again, trying to reduce the cost, don't want to go crazy shopping. Like I said, I'm trying on eBay, but maybe buy candy or I was thinking of an, uh, a votive candle, because they're not big, but you want to put something, you know, something cute. So, any suggestions, I would love it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.